Replit just released their Agent 3, and while they promised a lot of new features, what really caught my eye was their new automation and agent builder. So I tested it out, and I must say that I was really amazed. N8N is a really amazing platform, but here on this channel, we prefer to do the least amount of work and have the majority of it automated through AI. We tried the N8N MCP and it was good, but then Claude Code came around and I tried to improve the MCP and turned Claude Code into an agent specifically for building N8N workflows. It's still a really good system and I highly encourage you to check out the video we made. But when they announced they were releasing Agent 3, I thought it was just going to be improvements for their agents and it mostly was, but they released this new gem as well. I tested it out, and it was actually amazing. Now in Replit, you'll find the Agents and Automations section. I've been testing it extensively, and as you can see, I've opened multiple projects to experiment with its capabilities. It's still in beta, so this means certain features aren't fully polished yet, and there are some minor issues which I'll show later on. The first thing you'll see is the Event Trigger Selection screen. This determines how you'll send messages to it. You have three options, Slack, Telegram, and time base, which executes automations at specific times. The Replit agent auto-configures many aspects on its own and provides a guided experience, as opposed to a manual one where you have to work out a lot of things yourself. Building automations can be challenging, so this streamlined approach is particularly valuable. Even compared to agents built through Claude Code, this experience is much smoother. For my first agent, I selected the Telegram trigger and created an AI bot that could send emails through Raplet's email services and check my calendar availability. Building the complete agent required about 28 messages and 27 actions throughout the conversation. One requirement for each agent is adding your OpenAI key. After entering the OpenAI key, I needed to configure the Outlook integration. The integration process opens an OAuth window for authentication. I've saved some snapshots of this process using a Notion example, though the Outlook process follows the same pattern. Once the Outlook integration was complete, the agent built everything automatically. When setup finishes, you get an agent playground where you can test the agent before deployment. During testing, I asked the agent to check my calendar gaps, and it successfully ran its configured tools to show my availability. However, there's a limitation in the playground. It lacks persistent memory. Memory persistence only activates when deployed to Slack or Telegram. When I asked about my previous message in the playground, it couldn't recall earlier interactions. Now, since this is for testing, they should have added the agent memory here as well, since I did face issues later on that could have been caught here. But since it's in beta, this improvement could come with future updates. After testing, you can publish your chatbot to Telegram. The publishing process differs between Telegram and Slack. For Telegram, clicking the publish button requires establishing a new connection each time, unlike Slack, which you have to connect one time. In Telegram, you need to create a new bot for each deployment, get its API key, and put it here. In Telegram, you can see I opened the Botfather app as instructed. I initialized a new bot, gave it a name and unique username, and received the API token. You'll notice in the corner it's called Mailbot. Once I pasted the token back, Replit published it. That was the entire setup process. I began testing by asking it to schedule a meeting. It requested the necessary details, which I provided, followed by the time zone. It then asked if I wanted to send invitations. Since the meeting was with scriptwriters, I provided one of my other email addresses. The bot confirmed it had sent the invitation. Here you can see the email from the Replit mail service with the meeting notification. Now there was a problem. Reviewing my original prompt, I had only requested calendar availability checking. I hadn't included the ability to schedule appointments. When I asked if it had scheduled the appointment, it explained that it lacked that capability. This led me to revisit Replit and ask about the Outlook integration. The agent clarified that scheduling wasn't possible because I hadn't included it in my initial prompt. This wasn't Replit's limitation, but the agent identified the missing feature and added it automatically. Agent 3 introduced longer autonomous runtimes as a new feature. I tested this with apps as well. The difference is more noticeable in app development than in agent building, since it still requests confirmation at various points and pauses its work. They also mentioned app testing capabilities for the agent to test its own applications. However, the agent still produced errors, such as incorrect formatting messages. This indicates the agent wasn't fully tested before deployment. When testing was suggested, it directed me to the playground. This testing feature appears to be limited to apps rather than integrations currently. When I repeated the scheduling request, the 
agent successfully scheduled the meeting. In my Outlook calendar, you can see the meeting scheduled from 5 to 6 and the other email address received the notification. The status shows not responded because they haven't confirmed in their Outlook calendar yet. Looking at the available integrations, the main thing here is the connectors. This means that to connect them, I just need to log in. There is no other manual work. Currently, there are only Notion, OneDrive, Spotify, Outlook, Linear, and Slack. A notable limitation is the absence of Google integrations, which is a huge bummer, but hopefully they'll add support soon. The documentation also lists additional external integrations, though these require manual API key configuration like OpenAI. My initial example was picked from the demo that they gave, connecting Slack messaging with the email system, and I just added the request for calendar support. However, I wanted to test something more practical that would integrate with my actual workflow. Since my team primarily uses Slack for communication and Notion for organization, I focused on those platforms. I requested an agent that would connect to Notion and provide progress updates on videos in the board. I provided the board name, which the agent confirmed, then it retrieved my open AI key and prompted me to connect Notion. Following the OAuth process, it asked about permissions for Replit, and in the page selections, I selected only the content pipeline page. After building the agent, I published it to Slack for testing. When I asked it to list the videos in the B-roll edition phase, the agent ran its custom tools and reported which videos were in that stage. When I requested an overview of the pipeline, it provided a complete list with a summary showing 17 videos in ideation, 19 in progress, and 7 in completed stages that had been published. This functionality was genuinely useful. I attempted to fully integrate this into Slack. While the connection shows as connected, both the Notion video progress agent and the MailMind calendar integration failed to work properly in Slack. This is likely a beta issue, and I hope that it is resolved in the final release. Otherwise, it really isn't that useful as my team doesn't use Telegram. The positive takeaway is that the integrations and agents themselves function well and demonstrate solid capabilities. I also tried to make other integrations and projects. Replit offered a musical vibe agent that promised to return Spotify songs based on described vibes. I expected it would integrate with my personal playlists. But when I asked about its functionality, it simply searches the Spotify database without accessing personal data. This was somewhat disappointing since it doesn't offer any unique capabilities, but I think this could be modified. Regarding Replit's app development features, I created a liquid glass design website with a phone demonstration. I requested an iPhone mockup, but the layout appeared cluttered. The liquid glass design implementation itself was excellent, though the overall result wasn't particularly remarkable. I also tested a solar system explorer, which looked impressive. Additionally, I wanted to develop a dashboard concept for selling agent.md files. It also automatically asked me for the Stripe integration for payment processing. The testing feature they advertised was actually good. The app testing is now automated, as you can see in the interface. While this feature currently applies only only to apps rather than agents, seeing complete website testing happen automatically is impressive. My overall impression of the agents and automations feature is highly positive. Despite being in beta, the potential is substantial. Many users will find value in building custom automations with Raplet. Once the Slack connection issues are resolved, I'll integrate these agents into my daily workflow. That brings us to the end of this video. If you'd like to support the channel and help us keep making videos like this, you can do so by using the super thanks button below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.